welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sam, and I'm not a beauty guru, but I do want to put out a, like a, not a tutorial, but like a get ready with me for senior pictures. Because when I was taking mine, like, I didn't find any. So, um, yeah, I want to be able to give a good one, or maybe a mediocre one, um, for people if you're looking at taking senior pictures. So I'm actually going to start out with the Cabral by Benefit. Where's the... The Cabral by Benefit. And I'm going to go under the arch of my brow. Um, I'm going to do it over here. But like, maybe you can see. I don't know. Um, for my senior pictures, I actually got to take them at a lake, which is really cool. It was super pretty. Um, I actually just ordered the, like, the ones I'm going to keep. So, that's exciting. Um, they'll be on my Instagram, so if you want to follow me, my Instagram will be in the description. Um, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. It was actually the day before my mom's wedding. Is when I went and got my senior pictures done. Yeah. So, I guess I'll talk about some stuff. I don't know what to talk about. Um, maybe we'll talk about school. So, I'm a senior. And I wonder what grade you are. Like, tell me what grade you are in and, like, how your school year is going. Mine's okay. It's okay. I'm not failing any class, so that's a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? I like, right now... I don't know if it's my favorite subject, but it's one of my favorite class hours is math. Um, because I have a lot of friends in there. And I'm at actually at a new school, so, like, the people are pretty nice. They're probably watching this, hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, and if you're actually at a new school, tell me how you like it. Or if you're at an old school, tell me how you like it. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know what it looks okay to me in my eyes. So, like, if this isn't what you think of as, like, great, then I'm sorry. I don't think it's that great either, but it's what I know how to do. It's what I think looks okay. Um, so that's my dog. The heck? I like to always, like, when I go through with the product, I like to spoolie it through the entire brow. Not... I like to push it into the front. I learned that from Nikki Tutorial. <laughs> um, just to give it the feather effect. That's what I like to do. Yeah. And it's not that like dark, but I don't like to make them too dark. Because I used to do that. I used to make them really dark, but no, I don't. I love makeup, but I'm not that great at it. I'm okay at it. Um, so that's one brow. I don't know if you can really see. It's like a slight arch. It's not that long. But yeah, that's how I like mine. Like that. So I will actually... 
I'll be right back with it so I can do that one. Okay, guys, um, I have this eyebrow done. They're not twins. They're not even sisters. They're, like, acquaintances. So then I do my brow gel. And I do the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. I don't know if this is what beauty gurus do. I don't know. It's just like a little trap size. I don't know if this is the big size. Um, I just kind of comb through them. So yeah, just like... I like to just... Set them. I actually like to set the... The front brow hair. I don't know if you can see that. The front brow hair. I'm like spiky kind of. Not spiky, but up. And then I go up, 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 up. And then I just gently comb. But I leave the front just a little spiky so it gives it like a, I don't know, an effect. I think I saw it on a makeup video once. That's what I do. And then I'm going to get a, all my brushes are dirty, so if you're like, her brush is dirty. Yeah, they're, they're dirty. Um, this is a Morphe brush. I don't know the number because they don't have numbers, but it's just kind of like a tapered, fluffy brush. Sorry if this is loud. Um, and then I'm going to, to get the... Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I like this palette a lot. Um, a lot of people don't like um, cool tones or warm tone shades. They like cool tone. But I'm the opposite. I like to have a cool tone shade in my crease. Um, I don't know. I think it just, because I have blue eyes, I think it just kind of defines them a little more. I don't know. That could just be me. Everybody's different. So I'm going to take this nude shade right here. It's called Nude. And I'm just going to take a little bit, just, just off the powder, and put it in my crease, only on the, like a little higher, like, right here. I like to put it right there, because it gives me room to work with the other ones, because I do have, like, smaller um, eyelids. Yeah, so I do that to both of my eyes. I just kind of like give it a color. It's not like a, I don't know. I don't know what I do. I just do whatever feels right. I'm sorry, like about my breakout, like it's not good. It's affecting the way my foundation's sitting on my face. It makes it look really patchy. So, so. What are you guys like doing? Like when you're either out of school or off of work? Oh, I just took um cashmere bunny, the shade right here. And I'm just putting it on the outer parts of my eye. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um yeah. I just love makeup. I wish it loved me back though. <laughs> I just like blend it out. Um, the theme, not the theme, but like the idea I had for my senior pictures was, um, it was just like a soft, like glowy look kind of. So I, I don't like to go like all out for that kind of stuff because like if I mess up and I was running late like because I was in Utah and I had to be like there at six or five five or six I think it was more like six and um I left my grandma's house because I was at my grandma's 
uh, um, what time did I leave? I left at like 4.30ish. And it took like an hour and a half to get there. So that wasn't good. So. <laughs> I got there a little late, but she was running behind schedule too, which is, she's a great photographer. So if you live in like, like the, uh, what do you call it? Like blinding area in Utah, which probably not a lot of people do. Like she's really good. Or if you live in Utah and you can make a drive to blending, she's really good. She made my pictures look so great. I actually have pictures in water and like dry ice, so it's like foggy. It's cute. So look. And then I'm going to take chocolate cookie right here. I'm going to take that shade. And I'm going to just warm my whole, like, crease up. Yeah, and it just gives it kind of, like, a warm chocolate effect. Yeah. Um... If I were to retake my pictures and, like, take them in a different way, I'm not used to smiling, but, um, so I just made my natural, like, face, my, I don't know what you call it, just the, like, the natural, just my resting face, and, um, getting my pictures back, I was like, oh, these are gonna all look so great. They look amazing, because she's a great photographer. But, like, I liked my smiling pictures more, which is weird. And I actually had braces on when I had them taken. So, I think that's cool. Like, I liked smiling pictures more than I liked with my natural grumpy face pictures. <laughs> so, then you kind of just have, like, um, just like a brown... And then a white right there. That's just how it's supposed to look, I guess. I don't know. It's not a... Um, and then I'm going to put this palette away. And I'm going to get with my favorite palette. My Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette so much. <laughs> it is very messy. I use it a lot when I wear makeup. So, oh. I'm going to dip into the burnt orange with just their Anastasia pencil that it comes with. I'm going to just put that out there because I think that's cute. Um, and I don't really know how to make like um brown eyes look good because I don't have brown eyes. If you guys like this video or like, like the idea of this video... Tell me, so if, like, you want me to do more, if you're just like, no, like, you don't do the makeup stock, tell me. Let me know. <laughs> so I'm going to finish up my crease, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, guys, so I finished the crease, and then I put a sparkly shade, which you can't really tell. Um, but you can tell in, like, my mirror. There's, like, a sparkly pink shade in my crease, or my, um, my lid. Um, I'm actually going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette because I actually changed to my Naked 3 palette. And I did Lust, like the pink shade, which I don't know if I like it. Um, it's just kind of like dry. It's not that great of a formula. Um, so I'm going to go in with Vroomer. This one, because I love it so much. You can tell I hit pan. I'm just going to... Brighten up that pink shade on the lid. Oh yeah, that's so much better to see. And I'm gonna go in with just this fluffy side of the brush. It's clean. And I'm just gonna blend that out. You can see that a little bit better. Not really because my I'm using my phone for my camera. 
and it's just kind of not the greatest quality. Maybe I'll try to switch to a different phone and see if the quality is better and if we like it better. If I like to edit that video better. Yeah, that's just going to be the eye look. Just so simple, like a couple colors. Um, just like a sparkly, like very simple look. And I actually already did my base. You could already tell, like, my face base. So, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild um, Contouring Palette. It's the light one, I believe. Oh, it's Dulce de Leche. Okay. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was weird. Um, I'm going to put the lightest shade, like, on the bottom. Right here. Because like I said before, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. I know what I'm doing, but I'm not sure if like I was a professional, I would be doing this. Because I'm not a professional. Sorry, that's my siblings. They're probably farty. So I just kind of like put it in like the highlighting areas, I guess. You guys need to tell me there's some on my lip. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm probably gonna. Ew. This breakout is my skin so dry right here. If you have any, like, ways to, like, help with that. Oh, I didn't use it. Um, leave it in the comment section. Like, a good way to, um, get rid of a breakout. And then I just use the contouring or the bronzing. And I just kind of put that like right here. Because again, I have no idea what, like, a be like a beauty guru, like Nikki Tutorials would watch this and they'd be like, what the heck? <sighs> Sorry, I have a cold. I don't know if it's a cold. But I'm sick. I got really sick this week. That's why I didn't post earlier because I didn't want to film with my voice. Because it was worse than it is now. Um, yeah. I just kind of put it here. Here. On the sides of my nose because I don't know how to contour my nose. On the bottom right here. Because I saw Beauty Guru really do that one. It's probably Nikki Tutorials. And then I like to put up my jawline. Just to give it some color. And then I move on to my contouring. Which is just this Profusion palette. I got it from Target. Not Target, um, TJ Maxx. And I use this color in, like, this cool tone, dark color. But I try to get as much off as I, not as much off. Well, that's great. Oh. Probably not. I like to um, dab my brush instead of doing circles because like that it breaks up your foundation. It breaks up mine. Um, I just room dabbing it. Oh, this is my. I'll fix it. That's fine. Then I like to go right here. I did this sweeping motion right here just because it is the jawline. Um, and then I go down my neck right here, and I just kind of do that on both sides to define the shape of my neck.
And what I'll do is I'll go in with my translucent powder right here. And then it'll help get rid of like the blotch. Because I have a breakout right here as well. So it just kind of stuck to it. And I just do a little bit of the contouring on my nose. Try to slim her down. And the point is for you to like the way you look, not like everybody else, because if you like the way you look, you'll like the way your pictures come out. So I'm going to go back in with this one instead of the translucent one. And then I'm going to just do it down the nose to give it more of a contoured effect, I guess. I don't know. Ew, look at that. <laughs> And then I go on these sides to like make it thinner. I don't know, I think I saw James Charles do that one time. If you could meet any YouTuber, who would you meet? I would meet Austin and Catherine off the Ace Family because I love watching them and make it like they're just so genuine, I think. Or, um, Rochelle and Justin off, um, Rochelle and Justin. Swannies. They're, I like watching them. They're really good. They just had a baby, and she's the cutest thing ever. She's a little redhead. She's cute. But, like, comment your favorite YouTubers. And then I'll take this on the side to kind of like have some people do with the translucent powder. And then with a fluffy brush that I used to put translucent powder on. I'm just gonna rub this all in. The where I put the lightning powder, not lightning, but the highlighting powder. I just kind of blend out my contour a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just darkness under the skin, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do for that part of it. And then I like to get my Morphe setting spray. The Continuous Setting Mist. I like this one. And it smells really good. And then I get my Beauty Blender again. And I usually just go under my eyes because that's where it creases more even though I said it. Because when I smile I have bags because I don't get enough sleep and then I'll go down my nose and everywhere else after I focus on that part. It's funny because like I never do my makeup at school so like when people see pictures of me they're like what the heck? Why do you look good there? But you don't look good right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's my sister. So, um, I'm actually going to put this high beam on. It's from Benefit as well. Um, and I don't really like to put it, like, on my cheeks because I do break out. And I feel like it emphasizes the breakout. So I put on my nose, right there. I do like a button nose. And then I go down the middle. Then I just blend it out with my finger. And I really like the pink highlighters on my skin tone. And especially for like, 
um, senior photos, I didn't put it right here, like highlight right there, because I was scared that it was going to um, emphasize the um, breakouts that I have on my cheeks. Because you can tell, like, I have a lot of breakouts on my cheeks right here. And I have deep pores right there, which suck. But. So I'm going to take this brush again that I used that pink shade with the in the other palettes. And I'm going to use Moonstone on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. That's what it says, yeah. Um, I use Moonstone because, like I said, I like the pinker colors. And I just like to set it where I put the other stuff. Well, bright picture, and then I usually, because I don't usually break out here, I am right now, but I'll just do it anyways because this is what I did. I do it right there, and then I get my sponge and I just kind of dab these places out. And since I didn't put an inner corner highlight, I'll put Moonstone and Summer. That's Summer and that's Moonstone. In the inner corner. Just to give it a little, like, pop. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to actually put, um, this purple shade. And Moonstone on the eyelid to see if that helps the color shine through a little bit more. Yeah. If you guys want like a um kind of like a boyfriend tag, let me know so I can do that. That'd be fun. I actually have to get him to like not go to work. <laughs> He's at work right now. I miss him. He should be coming home soon though. And I'll just put some up on my eyebrows. Yeah. And I forgot blush. So I'm going to put blush on. And I use this Tarte blush. It's Party. That's it. I don't know if you see that. Um, and then I use this really beat up brush. Yeah. It's Total Face Powder Brush. I don't know. I probably found it in my mom's makeup bag one time. And I like the way it applies blush. Because I do like this like mauve colored blush. So I just put that on right there, and then I will actually put a little bit on my nose, and then right there. It just kind of gives you a color. And before we end the video, I got a little mascara, and I use the CoverGirl Total Tees. Um, it's really spiky, so you gotta be careful because I always poke my eye out. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. I like it, it's really soft and natural, I think. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you liked it, or like, press the like button, um, press the subscribe button, let's get up to at least 100 subscribers, and um, yeah, today's shout out is going to go to my cousin, Riley, because I actually like started to love makeup because of her, we grew to love makeup together, so yeah, have a good day.